most of our friends that actually visited us even before our reno was done. Their first reaction when they stepped on the floor and come in from the foyer was, wow, the arch door was very nice. Like, why is this behind? And they didn't know it was a, actually a bomb shelter door. This is a four-room BTO that is located near the Yunos MRT. The initial quotation that we actually signed for was around 70 plus thousand. After including the furnishings and stuff, it's around 90,000 to 100,000. For the whole renovation, it took around six months to complete. And that is because we actually went for uh, flooring such as micro cement that actually they had to layer it on layer by layer. And this is quite intensive and for the walls itself as well as the ceilings we actually went for a lime wash finishing and this also added on to the whole timeline of renovation. Hi, I am Clarence. I am 33 this year. I'm currently working as an actuary in one of the insurance companies in Singapore. Hi, I am Jiahui. I am 28 this year and then I'm doing F&B and doing a home business. So when you first open the door, you'll see that we actually did a micro cement flooring. So this flooring is very special. I had wanted it for like since a very long time. So we have been researching on it. Like we went to different contractor to look for like different texture and colouring. This was the perfect fit. Then after that, when you walk into the foyer area, you'll see our so aluminium light bulb, which I love when I first stepped into their shop. That's why we have it there. And then we have the concealed arch door shelf for our bomb shelter door. Further in, you'll see the living room where we will have this like partition wall for our TV. And we did that because I always wanted a very clean look with no like tabletop at the bottom for the TV and stuff like this. That's why we actually do a partition for it. And then we'll see our open shelf where we display all our cute stuff. Then this dining table we got from Commune and then it's an extendable dining table that we had a long time finding and deciding whether to get it. Behind of us is our study room. Our study room we actually have an open concept so that he can be able to watch TV when he's gaming and stuff like this. Yeah, so it also provides a bit more sunlight for him. For our doors, we actually all use like the eight door concept doors. Yeah, so it's like a very cool niche door that you can see that there's no rim around it and stuff. We have this uh, synchronized door. We wanted a very open concept and at the same time because I do a lot of cooking, we wanted to make sure that the smell doesn't hit the living room. So when you enter our kitchen area, right, you actually see that we have this special arch for our exhaust. You also see that our backsplash is one whole piece. It's a sintered stone because we wanted something that was easy to clean and then like something that is more durable. Instead of going for quartz, which may stain easily and stuff like this, we decided to go for sintered stone. We also see a dry pantry area outside, so our fridge is on the outside. Beside our fridge is actually where we store our alcohols. Okay, then you'll see our common toilet. For our common toilet, we actually use Hafari tiles. Then it's a concept that uh, my husband wanted to go for. He wanted to have something that is foresty, where he feels like he's showering in the forest. That's why we have a lot of green, leafy, golden tiles. So when you enter our master bedroom, right, you actually see a reader glass door, that's our master toilet. And after you enter, you will see our favourite toilet bowl, which is a heated toilet bowl from Toto. And then you can see that we actually have a small little window. It's actually a very awkward window because like, you can see your neighbour from the other side. You can say hi to them. <laughs> then we were like contemplating whether we want to have it hidden up or actually open concept. After the whole renovation was done, right, there were actually uh, multiple rectifications that we needed to actually touch up as well as to rectify. What we did was we actually liased with Max as well as Nicholas and every time we pointed out a certain defect that we actually spotted that needed some rectification, uh, they were quick to actually follow up with their contractors. After following up the contractors, then they were arranged for a follow-up date for them to actually uh, come down and fix. So they were quite on the ball in terms of a rectification progress and in terms of the whole timeline-wise, they were actually uh, informing us on each of the different steps of the project are due to be completed. Yeah, but Max was also quick to update the, any revision in terms of timeline. I think for me personally, it's a place where I can actually chill and hang out and a place that actually I would want to come up, come back home to every day. So 
so <laughs> to come back home here every day watching me. <laughs> so it's, it's more like a feeling like whenever you're out, then you can't wait to be back home. Or when you're working, then if you're doing OT and stuff, then you just miss the feeling of being back home. <laughs> <laughs>